Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. Hope it finds you doing well. How was your weekend if you're watching this in real time? It is Monday. Happy Monday to you guys out there. My weekend was great. Sometimes you don't appreciate things when they're kind of right outside your front door, right? You ever notice that? Uh, I, I live, I'm live. i Boston-based, right? I live in Boston. And uh, I knew there was a lot of history here. I've read, you know, all the history books and stuff. And, you know, 1776 is my personal favorite. Uh, but, you know what? You really appreciate. I took my son, my four-year-old, right on like this this kind of this duck tour which is basically a boat that can go in the water and drive around the city streets uh so we had like a little bit of a historical tour around the city it was amazing it was really fun and then we went on like a horse and carriage ride but it really got me thinking that sometimes you just don't appreciate you know the history the culture the sites whatever it may be when it's right outside your front door it's weird it's weird that you travel to go you know do touristy things and then you take for granted what's right in front of you sometimes anyway that's my my, my random thought for the day guys so i was meandering through my youtube uh, subscriptions i saw a great raid shadow legends youtuber mtg jedi do a put out a video and he, he got me man he got me really good with this title it was like is a rare who hits harder than Trunda or a rare who hits as hard as Trunda? Uh, and I'm like, okay, man, you got me, Jedi. You got me, bro. I clicked on the video. And who was it? It was a rare that I've barely ever spoken about. I think the only thing I said about this champion is that she has high multipliers, but I never, you know, had the idea to even build her out. So big, big credit where credit is due. Check out his video. It will be linked. His channel will be linked for you guys everywhere. The show notes, pinned comment everywhere. Uh, but I had to build her out. I had to do it, right? I had to do the same thing that he did. So Marques is the champion. Demon spawn, rare, spirit affinity champion. If you need a spirit affinity nuker, easy to get rare champion. I mean, eventually, you know, hopefully you pull her, I guess. Easier to get than a legendary in an epic. And boy, does she have insane multipliers. What's better is, guys, she's a defensive-based champion, so she's fairly easy to keep alive, especially for a rare champion. And an increased defense buff is going to make her do more damage, and it's going to also, obviously, keep her alive longer, right? So it's great. Uh, great synergy with defensive-based nukers, and Marques is really a class act in that regard. Now, is she better than Trunda? We only get one life like this. No. <laughs> I'm just going to start out by saying that. <laughs> Trunda has a real two-time hitter on her A3 if you build her with low accuracy, which is what people do in the arena when they have arena-specific Trunda builds. However, you know, that doesn't mean Marques isn't an amazing champion. She It looks like she has a multi-hitter. Let's get into her kit really quickly. Her A1 decrease attack, the weak version, uh, has a 5 multiplier on this A1. That's really high, a defensive multiplier. On the A2, it's a 4.5 multiplier for an AoE attack. A 4.5 a multiplier, I'm going to repeat this like eight times apparently. That's a very high multiplier for a defensive base attack on an AoE attack. It's dealing a lot of damage. And then we'll deal extra damage to enemies with the weakened debuff. So she places the weak version of Weaken. Weaken is a great debuff, you know, in a vacuum anyway, right? A damage uh, increase by 15% in this case, or 25% with the with the big version of Weaken to any enemy with the debuff. That's just sheer 25% extra damage or 15% in her kit. Now, what I like to do with Marcus, Marques, Marquise, Marques? What have I done to deserve this? I don't know. Marques, what I like to do with her is I like to set her up with like a Ryan the Conjurer. That's what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. A buff stripper who also has Weaken in her kit as kind of a setup. That way we still have Weaken on the enemies, uh, but we have the bigger version of Weaken. But of course you can use her as well. Just make sure you have enough accuracy to actually land that Weaken in today's build. We don't have an accuracy banner on her. Talk about that in just a moment here. Dealing extra dam damage to enemies with the Weaken debuff. She's not technically hitting twice. But that extra damage shows up almost like it's a second hit after the fact, provided that the enemies do have weak. And we'll see it in action in just a moment. So Freeze Solid is a guaranteed freeze on a single target on a four-turn cooldown. She has Aura, Defense, and Faction Crypts. Okay, so where are you using her as we jump into the Masteries here, guys? We're using Marcus. Marcus? <laughs> Sorry, I'm calling him Marcus. Sorry. Sorry, Marcus. We're using her anywhere you need a Spirit Affinity Nuker. 
straight up. She's easy enough to keep alive, so you can use her, you know, throughout Doom Tower, normal, hard, any ways, even level stage 25 dungeons. You can use her anywhere. She's best, though, in the arena as an offensive nuker or a defensive nuker on a go second team. Again, why do I say a defensive nuker on a go second team? Because, well, they, I mean, I guess I just said it, right? Because she's defensive base, so you can take a hit. Granted, I will say, though, that her base defense at 1013 is pretty pitifully low, along with her speed for being a defensive base champion after all, right? So for masteries, guys, we have the typical, I put out a video two, three, or four days ago, I don't know, I lose track, uh, talking about masteries for nukers, right? So I love this kind of setup, ruthless ambush, 8% extra damage on our first hit, uh, opportunist, 12% damage if they have stun, freeze, fear, true fear, or fear, depending on who you have setting up the, uh, the nuker, and then helm smasher to ignore or some defense with savage artifact set that is like my money uh you know combo i guess for building a nuker i also love retribution and deterrence especially if they have a hard hitting a1 just like marques does there i said her name right i think so uh, let me just take a quick look at the artifacts here and then we're just going to try her out in uh in the arena right because again arena is you know the thing about raid shadow legends guys the big dirty secret that planetarium hates they they demonetize and strike my videos whenever i say it i'm kidding but i'm sure they don't love it you know when we talk about this is that you don't need legendary take it easy champ why don't you stop talking for a while champions you don't need to be like me and have a billion of these you know pay to win uh champions an account right you really don't because this game is all about, you know, making progress, trying different champions, different combinations, different artifact sets, different strategies, trying to get better with what you have, right? And sometimes you don't need all of the pay to win uh, stuff, right? Because at the end of the day, unless you're competing on Sunday nights at 3 a.m. if you're on my time zone, right? Who really cares? Just about enjoying the game. So I guess all you really need is champions like Marquez. Get it, finding utility out of kind of these hidden gem champions out there inside the game so i have defense on her ring obviously i have crit damage on her i'm looking for defense substats obviously uh looking for uh crit damage on the amulet i have a trip roll of accuracy on this i just noticed that right now on this amulet but her accuracy is still overall too low at 139 to be landing consistently that debuff that's why we're going to set her up with ryan uh we have defense on the banner again i already talked about swapping that with accuracy if you need it crit damage on the gauntlets if you can find the crit rate substats and the rest of your artifacts if you can't guys again nothing wrong with going crit rate on the gauntlets on marques especially if you're just starting out in the game uh, but definitely should be crit rate or crit damage, not like defense or anything like that. We have defense on the chest, though, and we have speed on the boots. Again, we're looking for crit rate. We're looking for defense substats here. Crit rate, defense. Crit rate, defense. Some speed helps out as well. So that is our build, guys. Our total stats on Marques are almost 4,000 on the defense. Uh, 36k on the HP. 99 one point shy on the crit rate 244 on the crit damage and again uh we could stand to gain some crit damage if we wanted extra you know <laughs> extra damage obviously uh and some extra defense as well and accuracy if again we want to land her own uh her own weekend so i will show you our ryan eventually all you guys will get ryan she's a pretty cool champion she's pretty good uh she's a lot of people compare her to Madame Saras. We'll take a quick look at her kit here. We're going to jump right into the arena. I could show you uh, her in dungeons, but really, there's not much to see. She's doing a lot of damage, you know? Kind of like a Magnar type damage, right? 100k or so, uh, plus the extra damage on waves, right? So... You know, I could show you that, but you know what? Check out uh, MTG Jedi's video. He shows her off in Dragon Slayer. You guys can see it there. What I want to show you, though, is the arena. The arena, right? So, you know, Force Affinity can be tricky to go against. So if you need that Spirit Affinity Nuker, she's got you covered. I have a team all set up here, right? And like I said, guys, I do want to show you Ryan really quickly here. I can't do it on that screen, huh? So I have Ryan going in with her A2, right? She's going to have a 100% chance of removing all buffs from all enemies, and then also has a 100% chance of placing a weakened debuff, the strong one, for two turns. Perfect. She also has a revival. Uh, on, uh, let's see, I have Kaimar going in uh, with the sleep debuff as well. Uh, so I don't even know who I have going faster right now. I think uh, Kaimar is faster. But she's not doing any attacking here on the A2, so it's great. She, it, kind of like Madam Saris, she's not going to wake up the enemy team if you have them uh, crowd control, CC. So here we go. Let's start out against this team, guys, and let's just see how much damage she can do, right? Now, keep in mind, with this squad, you're not seeing the optimal damage, right? Because we have no decreased defense on the team, 
and we have no increased defense for, for our team. So we'll mess around and do one battle like that before I let you go at the end of the video. Let's just do like four or five or whatever uh, arena matches first like this, see what kind of damage you can do. So we're gonna come in here, do the weaken. Everybody is weakened up. Oh, man, we lapped her. Arbiter lapped her. Let's just go in and hit the other Arbiter. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Let's slow it down. Let's watch this one in slow-mo. Here we go. <laughs> Get ready. Drum roll, please. Mm. Boom! Okay. So that wasn't that much damage, was it? <laughs> There was no decrease. There was no decrease defense on the team. She didn't kill everybody. And see how I want to point something out to you guys. Let me see if I can find like an easy team here. Okay, everybody looks kind of tough. Not gonna. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to face that team. Let me refresh. Let me find an easy team. This team looks like it might be easy, right? All right. So I want to add instead of Ryan. Okay, on this team, we'll take Ryan out. We'll add Ceres. To get uh, to get the decreased defense, because I want to show you actually her do some damage, right? All right, and then let's take Kaimar out and add I don't know Siffy. You don't need Siffy; you just need to increase defense, champion. But I'm lazy, and I thought that the only champion I might have fast enough would be Siffy. So here we go. So this will be like her full optimal damage output, right? And then we'll go back to the the uh, the main team here. All right, so we can go two times speed. We speed boost with Arbiter. I put up a community tab poll, by the way. It seems like a little bit less than 50% of you guys have Arbiter. Uh, so there we go. We have decreased defense. We have decreased attack. Uh, let's go in. Ooh, I'm kind of worried about Ninja killing me. Let's, let's decrease his turn meter. All right, here we go. We're up next. Let's slow it down. So now we have increased defense. We have to, Oh, we don't have the weaken up. Let's see if she can land it. I forgot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, here we go. Crush the weak. Boom. Okay, so you can see, did you see that second hit on Ninja? So she can one shot. She's is a rare champion, ladies and gentlemen. This is a rare champion, right? Uh, let me go ahead and go back to the main team. She landed that weekend on Ninja. That's right, she's putting her weekend on before that bonus damage will go in. That bonus damage shows up almost like it's an additional hit, which is very interesting. So again, let's go back to this team here and let's just see what she can do here. Let's rattle off a few victories, okay? We're just gonna go on uh, normal speed or two times speed now. You guys seen enough. You guys have seen enough. All right, two times speed. So we have Kaimar going in. Weekend is down. Here we go. And so she's doing like what? 40 to. So it's a 4.5 multiplier on the AoE attack and then a three multiplier on the bonus damage secondary attack. You know? Let's do it again here. Let's just go down the line. Let's just go down the line here. All right. This next team kind of intimidates me. Not this one, but the one after this with Tormund. Gonna have to build in. We're gonna have to put Sky Touch Shaman on the team, right? Sorry, it's a little laggy for some reason. I don't know what's. Oh, I'm rendering a video in the background. My bad on that, guys. It sucks because it's right during her animation, right? Like a little bit of lag there. But there we go. Okay, so she did a lot of damage. She didn't kill everybody, but she did a lot of damage. Can we come back around here? Seal of Magic. She, can she kill him the second time? Gotta be careful of, uh, gotta be careful here. Skull Crown, don't you dare kill me. Don't you dare. Go, go, okay, okay. She's got it, she's got it. Boom! Not too bad for a rare here, guys. I have to say, she, I, I like her, who do I like her better than? I don't like her better than Trunda. As I told, I didn't even want to mess around in the beginning of the video. However, I like her better than, jeez. A ton, <laughs> like almost every, I think Magnar, I probably like a little bit better because he's HP based and he's easier to keep alive as well. Uh, but man, she's really, really good for a rare and the fact that we cannot forget the fact that she's defense, you know? So let me go ahead and mess around with this team a little bit. Let's take uh, Mr. Kaimar out. Instead, let's go ahead and put in Sky Touch Shaman and uh, tackle this team. By the way, guys, I'm going to take my son to Disney World, right? Uh, so excited, so excited. In November, it's still like over a month away. But I'm going to probably do a whole week of champion guides, okay? For when I'm gone. Uh, because they're kind of easy to pre-record, they're not like super time sensitive. So I want you guys to tell me. So she got frozen there, but we're gonna remove it right now. We're gonna remove it right now. So I want you guys to tell me if there's any champion you're dying for me to do a review on. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have went in with the AoE there. That was an, I was an idiot. Didn't realize there was a Valkyrie on the team. All right, this is actually gonna be very challenging. 
because no 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 let's see oh wait 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 so she cut in line that's gonna screw everything up oof oof i think we lose we really need to remove the debuffs yikes guys i don't know i don't know i don't know uh i'm just gonna freeze somebody I can't freeze Kutraxa, man. She'd probably kill me on the counter attack. <laughs> All right, I'm not, I'm not even gonna land the freeze. I probably could have frozen. Anyway, here we go. Let's remove, put the weekend on. Okay. So Arbiter's dead, but she's revived. Sky touch. Now she's dead. <laughs> I'm not so sure about this team here, guys. Cause she's gonna get, she might get frozen right now. And if she gets frozen, then I think I might be toast. All right. Let's revive uh, Arbiter. She'll be revived. Dude, I have three revivers kind of, sort of, not really on the team, right? Because I have uh, I have the Sky Touch with the revive on death. Okay, now here we go. We have the Weaken. Let's slow it down. Can we do anything here? Eh, Candrophon is... Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom. Whoa! She killed Arbiter, man! I mean, Arbiter. Valkyrie! My Arbiter got killed. Then we killed Valkyrie. Not bad, dude. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by Marques. And again, big shout out to MTG Jedi, man. Give that guy a subscription. <laughs> a YouTube sub. Because, wow, that was her A1. Just killing, uh, killing Torment as well. Let's go ahead and try to find one more, like, really tough team that we'll probably lose to. Just to see how we do. So, those teams look all pretty easy. Hmm, not, this team looks very challenging, but it just might be a speed race. I kind of want to go against like a heavy defensive. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, let's just try against this team here. I don't know if we'll be going first, but let's let's get Kaimar. Let's let's put a let's put it now. Torment's not going to work against Siffy. I need some kind of CC, so let's just go ahead and put Kaimar back in. Uh, actually, let's get the team the right team here. That way we have everything on the auto abilities. So guys, let me know. Are you a believer in Marques? Are you a believer in this champion? Is this, you know, I gotta say, I'm super impressed. And it's a little Ryan spotlight. Ryan the Conjurer as well. I haven't really talked about her since I built her on the channel. So here we go. Boom and boom. So she's doing, I don't know, around 100k damage or so. Both hits combined. Uh, but with that setup there, I really love her on a Ryan the Conjurer team. So when you unlock Ryan the Conjurer, consider building Marques. Because that synergy between the big version of Weekend and Marques is really, really a beautiful thing here, guys. So we're just going to wrap the video up there, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this champion guide. Again, a big, big shout to MTG Jedi. And a big shout to all of you guys for watching it all the way till the end. I appreciate your support. And as always, take care, guys. And... Don't forget to let me know the champions you want to see me build while I'm on my uh, my week vacation Disney World with the uh, with the kiddo. Take care, guys. <laughs>